Darkness is complicating the search for two missing hikers near Mount Baldy. Yeah, but their families are holding out hope tonight that they will be found alive and well. Family members are waiting at the command post right now just in case the hikers come out of the mountains. And in an interview only see here on KCAL 9, Gabrielle Wallace's mother says she is confident that her daughter will be okay because her friend Eric DeSplinter is an experienced hiker. Now, the pair started out Saturday for Cucamonga Peak, but never made it back. Kick on Nicole Comstock is live near Mount Baldy right now with the exclusive interview tonight. Nicole? Yeah, you know, both of these families are headed into their third sleepless night in a row now, and tonight they'll be praying for a miracle. They say because Eric is such an experienced hiker and because both of them had so much gear on them, they don't think they're simply lost out in the forest. They think they're both most likely injured and need help getting back to safety. Nightfall cast shadows over the steep terrain at Mount Baldy, making it nearly impossible, investigators say, to continue their ground search for two hikers who've been missing in the mountains for over 48 hours. We have to back off with the searchers because we have to think of their safety as well. We will have the top of the trailhead manned, so if they were to come out. If they were to come out on their own, 31-year-old Gabrielle Wallace and 33-year-old Eric Desplinter, it would be an immense relief for their families who've been waiting without sleep at the command post. I know he wouldn't leave her, and I know she wouldn't leave him. Gabrielle's mother, Brenda Wallace, she says Eric is her daughter's boss at work, that Gabrielle just purchased all of her hiking gear for this particular trip with a big group of their friends. The two separated from the group and never made it back to their car. I thought maybe she tripped and broke her ankle or something. Maybe it slowed them down to a crawl and he's trying to help her get down. Eric's mother tells us he's an experienced, smart hiker, that Gabrielle is in good hands. What concerns both families is the terrain. It's unstable, um, and the snow is probably about four feet deep in some areas. And the last message Gabrielle sent to a friend Saturday morning as they entered the trailhead for Icehouse Canyon. Gabrielle tell her friend on the phone that it was a little dangerous, that she should get off the phone until it was less dangerous. Monday night, a cave and technical rescue team arrived to hit the trails at sun up. This worried mother is pleading with them to also bring search dogs out. If you had enough of the SAR units of the handlers and the dogs to be able to get all the area working, I think we would have them back. And deputies tell us so far they haven't been able to use those scent dogs for this search because the terrain is so difficult and so dangerous. But again, tomorrow morning, bright and early, they'll have those ground crews out there again and most likely the help from a helicopter as well. For now, reporting live near Mount Baldy, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.